So if I'm doing something wrong, um, I'm not here, Salas. <laughs> my bathroom because I feel like I'm always filming in here but in today's video I'm going to be doing a install plus styling video and a little bit of a review of these clippings that I got from Curls Queen and they have also sponsored this video so shout out to Curls Queen for sponsoring today's video we love that over here so if you guys are interested in how I did my hair let's just go ahead and get into the video okay so I'm just gonna hop right into it I already wash conditioned deep condition and blow dried my hair out so let's just go ahead and unwrap and straighten my hair excuse my nail I broke it usually I do all of my filming before I break a nail but that didn't happen this month so my nails broke is okay 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 let's get into it let's get into it all right so honestly I really don't need to straighten it because it's pretty straight but I want to make sure my roots are straight and they are a little bit frizzy I'm just gonna make sure I don't touch the ends of it so I'm probably gonna come down to like this and then just open the flat iron and make sure I don't really put too much heat on the ends of my hair because I am trying to keep my hair healthy as healthy as possible even though it is Heat damaged or even though my curl pattern is altered now so I usually like to just start with the back of my hair so that's what I'm going to do my hair has been blown out for two days so I always like to put the flat iron on it a little bit just to seal in the straightness so that's another reason why I am still going to put heat on it. So I'm just going to speed through this and straighten it and then come back once I start to get into the style and clipping the hair in. So I'm going to go through, comb it out, and chase it with the flat iron. to be the side that I'm going to be like flipping and curling so my hair is already parted somewhat but I'm just gonna go ahead and make it straighter since I know this is the style that I'm doing and then once I do that I'm just gonna straighten up to this side of my head we'll straighten it out and then clip the clip-ins in. Y'all, I'm so excited about these clip-ins because they look so good. So this section is kind of going to be my bang. This is how I'm parting it. I hope you guys can see that. So I'm just going to move this out of the way for now and straighten this side.
okay now that my hair is straightened out and kind of parted in the way i'm going to clip them in these are the clip-ins i got the brazilian light yakky silk press hair i got it in 20 inches and i really like how full the bundle is all the way down i like how the ends are i did go in and wash this hair i didn't blow dry it i air dried it um if you guys are interested in how i wash my clip-ins i will link that video in the cards but yeah that's all i really did to the hair i did blow dry a little bit just to dry the um weft of the hair but that's all i did i didn't trim it it came like this so curls queen offers light yakky coarse yakky and coarse kinky blowout hair and i got the light yakky like i said i wanted to get the light yakky because i was kind of tired of blow drying my clip-ins these are pretty much ready to wear ready to style i don't have to do too much after i wash them <sighs> i'm excited okay i'm, I'm excited <laughs> So these are the clip-ins. I got one bundle if I didn't already say that. If I do have a coupon code, I will link everything down below. And thank you so much, Curls Queen, for sending these clip-ins over to me and sponsoring today's video. So yeah, shout out to them. On the site, it did say that these clip-ins will on the bag. This is the bag that it came in. Right here, Brazilian version hair that lasts at least six months. So they claim that their hair lasts about six months but i'm pretty sure it's going to last me longer than six months because of the way i take care of my clip-ins so i'm not really worried about that but yeah i think these are a really good set of clip-ins and one bundle is enough like do you guys see how thick this hair is Another thing that I forgot to mention while I lay these clip-ins out, it comes with about nine clip-ins in one bundle. So it comes with two five clip-in webs, two four clip-in webs, two three clip-in webs, and four two clip-in webs if I'm not mistaken. I'm going to try to fit all of these clip-ins in my hair, but that doesn't usually happen. So I'm going to start off with the widest clip-in which is the five clip-in left and I'm going to part all the way around the crown of my head. So I part it from the side to the other side. Kind of like I'm about to put it up in a ponytail but I'm about to put the first clip-in left down right here And I'm just going to work downwards. I don't know why I do this, but it seems to be a little easier when I do this. So we move. All right, so this is the five clip and whip. Just going to open the clips and measure and see where everything is going to be falling. Oh, perfect. Okay. So that clipping is going to lay right here. Okay, so this is my hair and this is the wow, that's actually crazy. And those are the two textures. I feel like this is definitely way more smoother. I'm not sure. I don't know. My hair might just be a little bit darker. So we have one five clip-in left down. This is what it looks like on this side. So I'm going to go right up under it and try to put a clip up under it. Now these parts are going to be crooked because I'm using my hands now because it's just easier for me to do it this way. Alright, so we have a second five clip-in left. I think I'm going to take a three clip and whip and put it on the nape of my neck. I really hope this fan is not too distracting, but I know you guys understand. Like, I'm not trying to sweat, so... Y'all understand. Okay. 
This hair is pretty long too, but I mean, I'm not mad at it though. It is kind of like touching the top of my box side. All right, so before I move on to the top, this is how the crown of my head looks. And I think all of the clip-ins are covered. It's laying super flat. Curls queen, y'all did not come to play, okay? I see y'all. All right, so I'm just going to clip the back out of the way and clip in clippings at the top. I think I'm going to do like a curve part just so I can fit <laughs> as much hair up here as possible. So I'm taking a two clip on left. Going through the motions, you're turning me. Yeah, this blend is amazing, okay? Okay, I just want to give this hair a little trim. And I'm not a hairstylist, by the way, at all. So if I'm doing something wrong, I'm not a hairstylist. <laughs> I just learned the art of finessing my hair. It looks really... Okay, so I'm just gonna clip this back out of the way. I'm gonna do the back last. And I'm going to start on the bang first just to put it in rollers and get it out of my way. And this is the curling iron that I'm using. It's the one and a half inch babyless curl iron. And I like everything to be curled away from my face, so that's how I'm going to be curling it. day of me laying down my baby hairs and then I'm going to tie them up and let them sit for about 15 minutes I already took my rolls out as you guys can see I didn't get a clip of that there's no special way I take my rollers down I just take them down and go in with some frisbee gone serum to make sure my hair is protected against the humidity and to add some shine and this is how the hair came out Alright y'all, I think I'm pretty satisfied with how this hair came out. Like, this looks so good. I am excited to see how this hair holds a curl throughout the day. I didn't go anywhere today, so I'll just update you guys on the screen or something like that. I don't know if you guys saw these clip-ins sitting back there, but these are the clip-ins that I didn't get to put in my head because it just was not fitting. I don't think my head is that big to fit all of these clip-ins, I'm not sure. Maybe. I keep saying I should go to a professional to do this, but the person that I want to do my hair is all the way in Atlanta. I have three clip-ins left. This is the two clip-in web. This is a three clip-in web and a four clip-in web. And I honestly don't need it because the hair is so full and it blends so 
well with my hair and I didn't have any shedding when I was washing this hair at all I'm not getting any tangles it reacted well to the heat so yeah that's pretty much all i have to say about this hair i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys want more um hair videos more installed videos just let me know what you guys want to know i know some people do have like questions about clip-ins and like how to do them so i'll link some more of my clip-in tutorials on the screen so you guys can check those out and if you guys are interested in how i straighten my hair i will link my old one at the top of the screen and I also have a updated kinky curly to straight silk press at home routine coming up um, if it's already up I'll link it in the cards if it's not up I'll link it when it is up so I really appreciate you guys for watching thank you so much curls queen for sponsoring today's video I really appreciate y'all and if you guys are interested in these clip-ins I will link everything down below if I have any coupon codes I'll link that down below in my description box as well I love y'all make sure you are subscribed and I'll see you guys in my next video.